Hello, hello. Uh, good afternoon. I seem to be getting a bit tangled already, for frack's sake. Um, wasn't expecting it myself to get tangled this quickly, but there we go. 
doing the final bit of tea, bit of tea boops and I'm going to crack what on that. For fat's sake. There we go. So let me just get the game fired up. The game in question. And we can start this Cooper Scots. So Steam. Wow, has it been that long? It's not even on my recently played. Cool. Dandy. You're bound, I can dig it. Doctor Who, the age of time. So we can also want to pass up. Let's go to desktop. In anticipation. So yeah, on that note. Uh, hello guys, Matthew Mustard right here, also known as Chris Lights Entertainment. And welcome to this unplanned upsetual stream of Doctor Who and the Age of Time. Because uh, I started this game uh, on stream and I kind of want to see it through on stream and that's why we're in this current mess. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be continuing to play Doctor. It would seem. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Be pointless, so hopefully I don't fall through the world again, because that's where you kind of left off, is just falling through the world, which was less than optimal. There's the TARDIS. What's arcade? Oh, come on, that's a spoiler, I should not have checked that. What, we're only on chapter 3? Okay, I thought we'd be on chapter 4 by now. Turning that down, because that's really loud. How's audio balancing? And how's everyone this afternoon as well? That's also an important question. Continue. Now, these are all very valid questions. Another valid question is, why are you getting tangled already? Back there. You had no idea. What took you so long? While you've been sightseeing and taking it easy, I've been doing the donkey work and finding out what's behind the reality virus. Taking it easy. I can detect a force is trying to fix us in a tractor beam. I'm not having that. I'm going to remote pilot the TARDIS away from Earth. Back in a tick. And you might want to find something to hang on to. Okay. Uh, okay. Pull the activation lever and let's go. And on Z. What are you doing? Something. Yeah. Okay. Now I know, and it's not good news. But if you're risking your life to help me, I think you deserve to know the truth. Oh, please, sit. Put it close. Can generate some images to go along with what I'm telling you. Right then. Billions of millennia ago, when the universe was fragile and new, planets formed and stars began to burn. And at some point, no one really knows when. The very first sentient life form in all of creation was born. The first race? Maybe I should say, she began to exist. The universe's first creature with conscious awareness was, by definition, all alone in the world. She spawned more of her own species, nurtured them. She was the very first mother. The cosmos expanded. Planets and stars became vast galaxies, and life spread throughout countless systems. Throughout centuries, the first sentient being. Let's call her the first. Well, she slept for billions of years. But as the prototype for all consciousness, the first had design faults, teething problems, the most serious of which was very obvious. She didn't know how to die. What? When she was revived, she looked on in absolute horror at what her children had turned into. 
their warfare and cruelty and brutality all appalled her. She felt duty-bound to right these wrongs. She was compelled to destroy her creations, to eradicate all sentient life, to return the universe to how it had been when she gazed across the first horizons, to atone. The first has evolved into a super intelligent but very damaged figure. She's experienced many forms over the years, but now I believe she's humanoid. She sees herself as simply escalating a process that species right across the universe are already hell-bent upon. She's nurturing conflict and chaos and destruction so she can end their plight and begin anew. She's not a god and she's not evil. She wants redemption. She wants another chance. She wants children who love her and each other. And we, well, we have to stop her. So that's who's behind the reality virus. That's who we're up against. Is it more or less a... That's who we're up against. We're close, though. Oh. Get hold of the final time crystal, and the TARDIS can get all three of them to me, so I can get back to where I should be, and, you know, save the universe. It's what I do best. Hmm. I just want to warn you, though. The TARDIS has sensed the first is near. The danger's never been greater. Be careful. We're landing. Oh, well, I depart from the stream slightly doing good, I guess, from the flip side. Ah, we're in the middle. Room for improvement. Okay, we could. Like, there's room for improvement. We're not whacking everything. That would be good. But we're against essentially a god. She might not be a god, but it's essentially who we're up against. Oh, they're not looking good on oh, Hollow. Showtime. Behind door number one. Ancient Egypt sort of environment. Oh well, yeah, I feel like you could do that. I'll be honest with you. Guy, but I've already got some bad news. The sands that blow across the surface of this planet are somehow blocking my Zyton readings. That means you're going to have to find the last time crystal the old school way. Well, by looking, you know what we've been doing for a millennia, and hello. I was gonna say, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? I'm the doctor, by the way. Wow. Just wow. I've had a quick squiz through the local archives, and this place is known as the Temple of the First. Of course, that's where the last time Crystal is. Look, I'm not jumping for joy at the prospect of going in there, but it is the most likely place to find the final crystal. Got to check it out. That's it. Keep doing that. I think it's working. Good old son. Yep. So, what's below here? Of course, you decided to stop. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Let's... It can't be that easy. I'm sorry, there's got to be a catch. What does these symbols mean? They're obviously a, a whiting, a warning of some description, but it can't be that easy. I refuse to accept. I can just watch over. Yep. A time warp. Well, another thought. Let's see what. 
Well, time for a long time for the quiz that will juke you at times. Yep, it has only done me to juke. It's a trap, yeah, like, I knew it was not going to be that easy. If we do. The TARDIS is not there. Those doors are... Dalek in design. There's a... Yeah, this is industrialized. And that is definitely a da Dalek origin. So what's been going on here? That is definitely Dalek architecture. So what are Daleks are doing? Hmm. I'm thinking we've got to go through those big doors. That's where you come in. Yeah, I know that's where I come in, but... I'm just going to be over here, just in case. Oh, for fuck. There's no time like the present, mate. I know you're scared. I'm not scared. I'm just trying to figure out. I am too, but you know, upwards and onwards. I know. Sonicking it is not helping. What do I need, is Sonic? I would think it would be you, honestly. But where would these doors? This temple is amazing and stuff. But I think you ought to press that button now. Oh, uh, no it, pressure, it, but the universe is at stake. Okay, so this is just a button. Hello? Be very quiet. I'm hunting for a time crystal. <gasps> yes, a Stalic! I know it's a Dalek. I thought this place was meant to be serene and peaceful. This is a future, so obviously the Daleks can handle this. Don't be too loud. Daleks can detect even the slightest sound. And we really need to get past this one and through that door. Okay. If you wander into its light or get too close, they'll attack like there's no tomorrow. And if you die, there may not be a tomorrow. Maybe well, I should find a way to... Distracting the Dalek by throwing some of that debris across the room. Yeah, I will. Let me just get that first. Okay. Shh. Don't be too loud. Daleks can detect even the slightest sound. Why is this? And we really need to get past this one and through that door. Oh, for fuck's sake. Into its light or get too close. They'll attack like there's no tomorrow. Oh, shut up. If you die, there may not be a tomorrow. Shut up, Tom. Five seconds. Just that's a nice job. <sighs> Do my best, but I think it's not, this is not going to work out in my favor. I'm going to die. I'll be straight with you. <sighs> you need to distract it somehow. Scanning! Scanning! Did not work. The object has been scanned, assessed, and is understood. <laughs> Try distracting. Shut up. By throwing some of that debris across the room. Make it so I'm not. Scanning for the intruder. Oh my god. Daleks 
can detect even the slightest sound. And we really need to get past this one and through that door. You wander into its light? That was a close one. Okay, I've tapped into the TARDIS database. And you know I said things couldn't get any worse? No. Yeah, well, I was wrong. Remember that time glitch? Yeah. Well, now we're in a future where the Daleks invaded the planet. Yeah. They're trying to work out how to harness the power of the time crystal. Well, of course they are. The more immediate problem, I'm picking up signals from a bunch of Daleks, all pretty close to where we are now. I'm guessing more cheese graters from hell. Stay <laughs> and stay out of their sight. So I can hear the Dalek copy. Jeez, what happened to you? Hmm. Looks like the same door from before. It's like it's... Oh, is it like baked or something? Come on, man! I'm. Just... We can't reach the trigger from here. Oh, shut up! Previous the light would work properly, but it seemed to be pre-computed. <sighs> yep. Maybe you could activate it from a little way off. Let's see how good your aim is. Surprisingly good, I think it's doing. Nice one. Nice moving. Fuck out. That's bolder that. I'm gonna die. they would have their unique voice we all know of course they would Ta of course of course they know you're here too and time for an obligatory stealth yeah okay so is it gonna count down to how far are we gonna play? how many of these things are there they get away they count that I know, shut up. The unsanctioned the object has been scanned, assessed, and is understood. That Dalek is blocking our way. We need to get it to move. The power source must be guarded. A 
As long as we're not directly in its line of sight, it won't be able to see us. Darling, Here comes that massive report. pillar there of cover. Are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. We need to get that door open. Oh, fuck you! Patrols in progress. All rebels will be located and executed. Unsanctioned activity in Don't temple. Investigate! Investigate! Scanning! Scanning! As long as we're not directly in its line of sight, we're we commencing to patrol. We could use that massive pillar for cover. Yeah. Dalek command reports there are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. It won't be able to see us. We could use that massive pillar for cover. Daleks patrols in progress. All rebels will be located and executed. <sighs> I don't know what to do. How did you get it to move? I know I can. The power source must be guarded. As long as we're not directly in its line of sight, it won't be able to see us. The power source must be guarded. Okay, shut up. Unsanctioned activity in temple. Investigate. Investigate. To get that door open. <laughs> Scanning. Oh, Scanning. I can I that door Unsanctioned intruder detected. Intruder detected. Sensors indicate you are not a Dalek. You will be exterminated. As long as we're not directly in its line of sight, it won't be able to see us. <laughs> yeah, but what am I meant to do after I get distracted? That much I haven't got figured out yet. Can you shut up? As long as we're not directly in this line of sight, it won't be able to see us. We could use that massive pillar for cover. Which I'm doing, but it still doesn't explain what I'm meant to do to get out of the way. I know I need to get the door open, you asinine cretin. So you get distracted on the... But you're still in a good place. Will be destroyed. 
You tell me I can't do it again. We need to get that door open. Daleks patrols in progress. All rebels will be located and executed. That Dalek is blocking our way. I know he's blocking the way. I'm going to start the one, but... <sighs> but I'm generally wondering what I'm meant to do. Because... Why? As long as we're not directly in its line of sight, it won't be able to see us. We could use that massive pillar for cover. Dalek Command reports there are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. We need to get that door open. Command reports there are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. We have an idea, but I have to wait for the next pass. The power source must be as long guarded. As we're not directly in its line of sight, it won't be able to see us. We could use that massive pillar for cover. I'm playing annoying how it's just repeating it. Like I haven't got it yet. I got that much, and I know how to open it. Can't really help there. Still can be no fun. Well, yeah, it's just because I don't know how to get past the darn thing. I know. <gasps> of course. I should have known from the very beginning. Of course. That Dalek is blocking our way. Why not? Why don't I just throw something at the button? Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. As long as we're not directly in its line of sight, it won't be able to see us. Dalek command reports there are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. Don't mind me. Just go show this one. We need to get that door open. <gasps> the object has been scanned, assessed, and is understood. So that's half of the battle. That Dalek is blocking our way. We need to get it to move. Dalek command reports there are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. As long as we're not directly in its line of sight, it won't be able to see us. We could use that massive pillar for... Dalek command reports there are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. Reports there are intruders. Smell you later. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed. Can you imagine what it's like to be the doctor and do this kind of stuff all the time? Clip that because I think that was actually clear. I'll take the TARDIS database over killer aliens any day of the week. I bet you would. I'm going to ask the dog's handiwork. But can we clip that because that was quite a uh. Do uh, quite a stealth 100 moment. Fuck him. Wow, I mean, look at that. But, yeah, I knew that, that design was a that got Dalek design. Sonic in the head. Uh, 
Okay, that's definitely a Dalek design. What have you? Hmm. I don't think these ones are occupied, so to speak. You're not thinking what I'm thinking, are you? Well, you're telling me they're just empty chassis. The uh, Khalids are not in there, is there? We need to reach that time crystal, but it looks like this is a dead end. Uh, I'm missing the coloured one. Why are you? So why are you? Ed? We've got to return to the stone dais before the Daleks get their hands on it. Well, look, I say hands. Wow. Ha! Great minds really do think alike. Okay. I'm going to control the movement, because I'm pretty sure I'm a better driver than you. Oh, what? You take care of the shooty bits. And just so you don't freak, I've altered the power setting on the weaponry you'll be using. When you blast... <sighs> Can we, like... I'm trying to return the view. Can I like go back in? Is that an option? Yeah. Mr. Dalek, you're only taking out its casing. You're not actually killing the creature inside. Okay, let's go. How are there so many of them here? That would have been way cool if it didn't actually make me face through like that. Do this. Uh, yeah, it's as he's booting up. Is that a Dragon Ball Z reference? What? 9,000? That's impossible! Is 
So it's when that uh, had a cause of blasphemy. Well, you have no eyes. The shields are back up, so that's good. For fuck's sake, okay. What that has in, that can be right, yes. Yeah. So it can. Where it says checkpoints. Sorry, the sound movement sound does me sound like a bit, but the series dog should be like. Because we're not over yet, I'll be honest. I can hear it. Thank you, sir.
I see, yeah, that's where I got a the dark design. Those power levels need to be disabled. It will give us a brief window to destroy the dice. Oh, fuck off. Oh, come off it. Well, that's it then. Fuck you, in particular. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm out of cool rent, so I will. After I get past the time, we'll... How far back are we going to be? power up. There we go. We need to disable it. Whoa. A Dalek casing. It's gone. Oh man. Wow. I'm starting to feel at home in there. Yeah, I'll just put it over system. Activate the stone dice. What do you do with Where's my Sonic? Something to do with you. And then puzzle piece number three. Access granted. The TARDIS. What? What's it doing here? I guess in the Daleks captured it. Go in and see what's happening. <sighs> what's that? Oh my like this, it's dark. going on? Yeah. The TARDIS has been destroyed. We're too late. She wiped out reality. This is in a different dimension altogether. But yeah, the TARDIS is empty. Or is that like the dimension it used to occupy? Okay, we're going to take a quick intermission while I get some more cool, cooler, so I'll be right back. Okay, okay, cool.
Okay, so I'm back. And we're going to your your thing. Uh, well, yes, but actually, no, it's not just the world, it's the entire galaxy is formed. The entire universe, but the entire multiverse itself, as we know it, has been destroyed. So, yeah, I'm just enough with it. It's up to fix it. Okay, we're in the inner temple of the first, and here she is. Don't try anything rash. I want no plan to. Powerful. Uh, no intention to. Unbelievably powerful. You say it like it was a bad thing. Power I'm the doctor. in the right hands can be beautiful. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. After all, mother, no best. Those are not good I words. I really wanted what was best for my children. Would you hold that against me? No. Would you hold that against any parent? The no. The only difference is, I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. There's not gonna be another way to do that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. Your death. Universal annihilation in exchange for a brighter tomorrow. You have no guarantee on that. You do know there's no guarantee. Talk about tough love. I love you all. Good night. Thank you. You have no idea it's going to be better. No, 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 no. More than ever now, because the universe is hanging by a thread. I know. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. Yeah, like I say, it's not evil. You're not ev evil, you're just misguided. In the land of the living, are you? The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. But she did need you to visit all those places to collect the time signature. Because she knew the first was watching her. And by extension, watching you. Those locations were the last things in the first's memory. And so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. The doctor disguised the items. But all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. You if hope. The universe is so fractured. To reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualize it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. We mean keep the first bit. Is that the plan you want? You must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Let your memories guide us to where we need to go next. I'm losing you. And your connections drifted. Are you still Connection is strengthening. Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. Is it this thing? The symbols. The you symbols. One more piece, which means one more memory. The only other place is either the ship or the temple itself. What? What do you think you're doing? Are you I'm remembering. Trying to interfere with my plans. You're, you're just misguided. Of course, I've got about this one. You. You did it. We've got the final piece. It's all all symbols. I'm gonna pull you back to the Weeping angel, hello. Put the three pieces together. We're back. Oh, what happened? Hello. Cast on again. You're too late. 
Don't you see that? Nonsense. I'm redeeming my children, giving you all a second chance. Why would you fight against that? Because it's misguided. Happy Mother's Day. I think we need some help. Doctor, what now? My lot, my people, they reckoned the first might make it here someday. So they created a device powerful and ingenious enough to send her back to her beginning. It was too dangerous to leave lying about. So I split it and squeezed and hid it. I knew the first would be watching me, so I needed you to make sure those locations were amongst the last to exist. And that you could get back to them. That was crucial. You had to know them really well. Yeah, that's fine. The tankers. I've appealed to the first to let us continue to live our lives. Offered her a truce. She refused. So now, now you have to send her back to the genesis of time using the device you've assembled. You've hardly any time left. I know what you've got to do. You've got to sonic the device. To find a sonic to it. There you go, finally! That's what I thought to do. Here we go again. You're going the long way round, mother. See you again in 23 billion years. Yes, you did it. You... She means the virus has been quarantined. Think of me kindly when I'm gone. When you see a sunset or flowers. Remember my love for you. I only wanted what was best for my children. So you weren't evil, just misguided. For you. And that's why I had to stop you. Your plans were misguided. And could have unforeseen Sorry, consequences. Found your Titus? You got your Titus back? Which you didn't we need a time crystal? Yeah. That's it. It's beautiful. But I like that was quite hard for me. It's beautiful. And we didn't need the tank we definitely didn't need those tank so she could call her tires at any time. She said that so uh to get the pieces to stop her. She knew this from the very beginning. The Titus Yeah. She will try time and time again to unleash the virus and wipe out all the sentient creation. Her threat will recur over and over. She will always return, which is why you must always be there to stop her. I'm taking you back to where it all started. The little laundry in London. I'm sorry I misled you. I had to. I let the first kidnap me and I had to let her think I was done for. Yeah. I knew she might intercept some messages and knew she wouldn't be worried about you collecting Zyton. Why would she? She thought she was invincible. But all the time I was working with you. I only work with the best and I knew you fitted the bill. I always know. And before you go, one more thing. Emma, yeah. I've downloaded her consciousness into a synthetic person. Someone you might recognise. Away from all this, she's living a happy life because of everything you did. And she is so grateful. So this is it. Landed. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? Go on. Take a look. There it is. You're gonna have to do it all over again to save the universe and steady. You'll feel disorientated for a second or two. That's because we've shorted out the time differential. But you'll be okay in a tick. Right. This is goodbye. For now, just two more things. One, thank you. Really, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And two, you remember Emma told you she'd always be your friend. Well, that next universe. The long and prosper, Doctor. Till next time.
So essentially, we're always it, Sega's saying has to go through it all over again. It's like we don't go back to our own reality. She takes us back to the very beginning of the time loop. I shot it all over again, as far as I can tell. So, but yeah, the one we thought was collecting the time crystals, we were actually collecting the pieces to send first back in time. It was necessary to deceive us, so the first wouldn't be in the horizon, but it is essentially a time loop, so we'll, we'll always be there. We'll always be the Doctor on this adventure. And of course, the, the, it does feel like the continuity error, whereas you could just call a TARDIS back at any time with that device you used. But she didn't on purpose. But yeah, this is the time vortex. And there it is. All five chapters. Let's see it. Time vortex, Tyler, Star Shooter, Weeping Angels. I want to have a quick look at the tires. I wanted to do the time vortex, but why is this just going to be copyright strike? But no, that's it. The universe is saved. And she's just going the long way around. I'll see the first in 23 billion years. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she had a line, but... And if you want a reminder of what's at stake, take a look behind you. Yeah, what's the rule one? That's what's at stake. Your world, and countless others. So you've got to find those three pieces of Zyton, and let's get one thing that is absolutely dialogue. straight. One very important thing. We are so caught with the time crystals from now on, because that sounds way cooler. The hologram is going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. Okay, get back to the console and I'll tell you what needs to be done. The TARDIS has switched to autopilot mode. Don't take it personally, just doesn't know you yet. But there's some stuff autopilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. Oh. The panel you can see is your interface oh, it's with the TARDIS. Step up to it. It's sandwich. Just, you through what you need to do. Let's go. Ready? Okay. As a wise man once said, Alon Z! Yep. What did you do that for? Give it a Yeah, bit. still don't have the hang of it. You need to find out where and when the first time crystal is. This should help locate it. Okay, what was that one, that one?
Lucia Minor. Once you step outside the TARDIS, I won't be able to communicate with you. At least not this time. The local auto defenses won't allow it. I have a feeling you won't be on your own for long, though. But you've got to get a shift on. With the reality virus and all the time glitches, nothing is stable. Remember, get that first time crystal back to the TARDIS. Without it, I'll be trapped forever, and the universe is toast. Good luck. You can do this. Okay, so let's just see how that goes. Sure, cool, Danny. Okay, so. Let me just switch over stuff, give me a moment. Okay, so let's conclude that. That's actually a bit too low. There you go. So yeah, that concludes this live stream. A broken pillar is no match for, for your thawing arm. <laughs> Apparently. But no, that is it. Again, overall, uh, the content reminds like every few seconds is annoying. Uh, I like the music. The other story is good. I'm, oh, what's these achievements? Exterminate. You would, you would make a good doll. Like, that's a ninth Doctor reference. Bullseye, okay. You're one of the Doctor's chosen few. Yes. Yeah, so, it's for like a total of what? Three hours? Four hours? Uh, we became the Doctor. And, yes, yeah, it's, it's not like games, it's buggy. And pauses not very clear, so on and so forth. You know that sort of thing. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, and I don't think that is. It's still a good game. I won't say it's an outstanding game or an exceptional game or VR experience, but it's only a good one. It's not a bad one. It's just well, find the edges. If I had a little bit more time polishing, I think most of the issues could be fixed. Unfortunately, that's not how game development goes. Yeah, I think that's about everything, honestly. So, thank you so much for watching this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, well done, good stream. Multiverse is saved from Doctor Crystallized Entertainment. <laughs> yeah. You may be a Doctor, but I was THE Doctor. The original, you might say. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a DeviantArt which you can have a look at, uh, which is where I post my art artwork, so you can find that at Twitter. No, at Chris. No, ah, frank. Third time's a charm. <laughs> at deviantart.com for says hexadecimal. That's hexadecimal. Saying so stay A to an E on your find me. I also have a Twitter account. That's where I post my random stuff as well as updates on these streams. So if delayed or cancelled, or in this case, extremely early. Uh, well, technically it's off stream, but you know, besides the point. Uh, I'll be posting there, so you can find that at um, uh, twitter.com for says mjmouse88. And believe it or not, I'm first and foremost an animator and not a gamer. That's why these streams happen late at night, usually. Um, normally, uh, sorry, script, used to it. But it usually happens late at night. This is just a rare exception because I want to finish this game on stream. But regardless, I do normally stream late at night, Mondays, Wednesday and Fridays. Um, but I am an animator first and foremost. That's why it happens at those late hours. So, I do have a behind the scenes t Tumblr account for that such scenario, so you can find that at um, 
uh, Crystallized Entertainment at Tumblr.com. And finally, I have a YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com, Force Us User, Force Us Side Guy Movies 1, 2. All of the links I just mentioned will be in the description right down below if you're watching the archive. Or hey, if you're watching this live on Twitch, if you scroll down from the stream, there's some handy handy neat buttons to take you to all of the links I just mentioned. So, once again, thank you so much for watching this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Nope. No, I don't want to log out. Fuck. <laughs> no. There you go. That's what I want. So yeah, that's it. Uh, green, not Green Man Gaming. Um, Playstack is the publisher, developer of Maze 30. Have Maze 30 done anything else? No, it's the one with that one, and it's on key me though. Um, but you know, I hope you enjoyed this impromptu unscheduled stream. I kind of want to do it on Sunday anyway, off stream, so that wouldn't yell at me if it takes long. But no, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow, IBS pending, for a game on uh, my usual streaming time. So until then, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. So bye, bye bye, bye.